Okay, so I know I've done a lot of videos in the last few days, but I think this one's quite important. I want to talk about why it matters a great deal that Amy Challoner was trans, and why it matters that we treated that as a normal identity in a young person of that age. It matters because if a young person is presenting with the cluster of behaviours and issues that Amy Challoner was presenting with, that indicates a very young person who is in very deep mental and emotional distress. It indicates that something has occurred in their identity formation that has literally led to their identity splitting away. It indicates that something has occurred during a period of identity formation which has led him to develop behaviours including stalking and rather concerning use of the internet. It matters because a young person with Amy Challoner's background, even without knowing what his dad was and the extraordinarily complex mix of power dynamics that that young person had to live with, and I am telling you, that is not stuff that the human psyche is supposed to bear, especially not a children's psyche or a young person's psyche. And it matters because the context for Amy Challoner's life was that he'd or he was in a household where children had been removed because of effectively Munchausen's, which is illnesses imposed by adults, by abusive adults, and then treated. It matters, because Amy Challoner was a very, 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 very vulnerable, very young person still covered by the leaving care system. And because we treated that identity that he said was the reason for all this cluster of behaviours unquestioningly, he was exploited not only by a political party, but a very serious predatory paedophile. And it matters because he had a delusion validated, and that's really dangerous. And it matters because right now there is a very broken young person whose world is falling apart. And his world is falling apart because of the actions of a political party, a media culture, a Twitter culture, and a fucking predatory paedophile. And every person who should have known that that mattered is now going to use him as a scapegoat. And it matters because when we do that to a young person with such a complex mix of vulnerabilities, with a history like that, we could be destroying the rest of his life and creating extreme risk for other people. So it does matter that when children are that distressed that they want to change their body and they're separating out their identity and saying that their identity is separate to their body. It does matter that we have been told to treat that as just an identity we should affirm. It does matter that adult males are saying that they want to lift those young males out of super, young people out of safeguarding and undermine their families. It matters a great fucking deal. And it should matter to Caroline Lucas, and it should matter to The Guardian, and it should matter to every single journalist who repeated what he said unquestioningly, because it reflected the narcissism of their own culture. And it should matter because they all have power, and they all have money, and they all have everything that that young person will never ever have. And it matters because that young person who has done some terrible fucking things was living with a situation that none of us can imagine. Not only was he living with the power dynamics of his father, and really, he was used as a puppet by his father, clearly and evidently. But he also had the pressure of national media attention put on him, as everybody used him as a fucking object. It matters because Amy Challoner was abused by the media, it matters because he was abused by the Green Party, and he was abused by his father, and he will now be made scapegoat for it. It matters a great deal.